Bodybuilding has definitely changed throughout the years, and I was going to start this video off with a history lesson, but I don't think you guys want to be put to sleep. So I'm just going to jump straight into it. In this video, we're going to focus primarily on the bodybuilding style diets. So if you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new. I'd really appreciate that. And for the purposes of this video, to keep things simple, when we talk about bodybuilding, we are going to be referencing competitors, hobbyists, and fitspos alike. Back in the day, things were even more niche than they are at this current time. You could probably think of maybe five to ten quote unquote bodybuilders or really people into this lifestyle. It just wasn't the norm. It never hit the masses. And the reason it has evolved over the years is for a few reasons, in my opinion. One being that things have gotten more flexible. The requirements have become a lot less stringent. At least that's the popular opinion nowadays. The other thing is obviously social media. You got to think YouTube is not that old. In 2012, I would say when the whole concept of flexible dieting really picked up traction with people like Matt Ogis, the Hodge twins. Does anybody even remember that Ian McCarthy guy? What the hell is that guy doing nowadays? But all of these things kind of snowballed into making the bodybuilding lifestyle more and more appealing where you don't have to just stick to a certain set of foods every single day of your life. It actually could be more fun. It could be exciting. And obviously posting pictures to Instagram. Now you have a reason to post half naked pictures online. Grandma, I'm not a slut. I'm a bodybuilder and it just it's an easier conversation let's get into the video guys What is going on guys? Thank you for liking the video and subscribing to the channel already. Today we're going to try out some new food. So check this stuff out. So as you can see, the marketing gods has blessed the Fitspo community with some new cereal flavors. And what I did is I put a poll on Instagram just a few minutes ago to see which ones I should eat. So let me see what you guys said. Okay, between these two, it looks like it is going to be the Honey Nut Frosted Flakes. And next it is going to be the honey buns, which I am most excited for. Out of all of these, which do you guys think would be the best? I am thinking the honey bun cereal is going to be perfection. You know, sometimes I think that the cereal manufacturers just sit around trolling us, like what kind of ridiculous pictures can we put on the box to make these idiots buy all of this cereal, which usually ends up tasting exactly like another cereal already on the market with less marketing. But if this tastes anything like cinnamon rolls, I know it's gonna be delicious. That is so good. This is a 15 out of 10. This isn't even marketing, believe it or not. I can't really compare it to anything else. It doesn't really taste like a honey bun exactly, but it definitely tastes like a cinnamon swirl type of cereal. That is one cereal that I highly recommend. That was delicious. Unfortunately, I think you can only find it at Walmart. So if you're willing to lose a few brain cells and go to the store, go ahead and check it out. Or if you're like me, you just wanna order it online, that works too. But to get back to the topic of the video, when I talk about bodybuilding, I'm speaking more in like a literal sense, right? You go to the gym, you build your body, you're into that type of lifestyle, right? Not you're one of the 15 people on this earth that will stay in the gym all day and that is your livelihood, is to step on a bodybuilding stage and you do that competitively. That is not really what I'm talking about here because over the years, you know, this whole bodybuilding lifestyle, eating right, going to the gym, trying to make as much progress as possible, it's become very, very popular. And one of the reasons I think that's true is because it's gotten a lot less stringent, at least in the minds of most people. Now, there's still the old school guys that be like, you cannot eat that cereal ever. It's gotta be steel cut oatmeal and that's about it. And you have to eat like five foods and that's all you get to choose from. But as more and more information has come out, those in the science-based community have learned that it doesn't really have to be as restricting. So you can still live a normal life and be into this type of lifestyle. This is my favorite coffee combination of all time. I'm gonna do a Nespresso pod. And if you guys know Nespresso, you would know the black and red means this is half calf, which I tend to go with because I add in even more caffeine, especially on days where I'm already feeling good. I don't even need caffeine. I just love it. If you guys are looking for something that has a full caffeine content, the Columbia is very, very good as well. 
I'm gonna mix in probably the best ingredient on planet Earth, the P Science Select Cafe, 20 grams of protein, 100 milligrams of caffeine, and tastes delicious. Please check that out if you have not already. And I'm even gonna add in some Reese's Creamer just because today seems to be a good day for marketing. I'm a little bit disappointed that no one has asked me for a progress check on this beautiful building right here, which I found out what it is. My buddy Steve, who lives in the other building across from me, let me know it's gonna be another luxury apartment building, which is exactly what we need here in Austin, Texas, because there's definitely not enough apartments around here. This right here, this is what we call poverty Brussels sprouts, the old school way of doing things. Nothing wrong with this, it's still a great food, but if you wanna spice it up just a little bit, go ahead and get yourself some spray butter, some garlic powder, some Himalayan salt, and some Parmesan cheese, and this just took it from about like a six to seven out of 10 to an 11 out of 10. Loaded up Brussels sprouts, there are not too many things better in this world. So we switched up the famous poverty brownie, and instead of two scoops of protein powder, we kept it a little less poverty one scoop of protein powder, one serving of sugar-free cake mix. So, you know, the traditional way of doing things would have just been have a protein shake, call it a day. So you can see we're still sticking to some of the same things, but adding in a little bit of flair. Now, this is kind of a weekend thing for me. During the week, you guys know I eat a lot of different style foods, but I found that having this type of flexibility has really allowed me to sustain this type of living for a long time now protein bars. I remember back in the day when this would be like a cheat meal. And now you guys know I eat these every single day. The pea science fudge brownie. I don't even need to go into it. But man, I was feeling good in the gym today. I was feeling like, feeling like jacked up. I'm 192 pounds right now. This is very heavy for me, but I'm feeling good. I feel like I'm getting stronger. I'm getting bigger. This bulk is going very well, even though I was a little bit in the middle of a mini cut. I lost like eight pounds, but then I'm thinking like, man, I'm just trying to get jacked, bro. Monster burrito on cayenne, please. Uh, black beans, please. Regular chicken, white chicken. And then I'm gonna do salsa, corn, and pico. Remember me, man? I do. I the, the triple, the, video. the triple, triple monster, whatever the heck that thing was. I watched the video. You compared it to tamales. It's five to eight pound burrito. Let's do that. Five and a half? Yeah. That's not too bad. Freebirds, so good every single time. I love it, especially because I can walk right over there. You know we can't end the night without a little bit of dessert. We're going with my go-to fat and weird cookies. We're having the big sexy. It's kind of weird to eat myself, but it is actually in the oven right now. Let me see if you guys can even see this. That guy right there. So I freeze them, and then that way I can have them for multiple weeks because I order six at a time. You guys can save 10%, which a lot of you were happy about because you realize I don't get paid if you use my code, but you can save money, so it's like a win-win, right? Use Travis on their website before they sell out. Every Monday they release, I believe, at 8 a.m. Central Time, but they sell out within about 30 minutes. So if you want them, make sure that you're on the website pretty early. Let me see if I can break this open for you guys. I mean, just look at that cookie. Just look at this thing, man. These are so amazing. Every Sunday, I look forward to these. I don't eat them throughout the week, but one time a week, it won't kill me. And if it does, might not be the worst way to go out. We would be fooling ourselves if we said the growth of bodybuilding couldn't be attributed to social media, at least in part. And I think this is really for a few reasons. One is because I think it gave people, like it justified people getting naked on the internet. I think some girls and guys really just like to say they're into fitness and bodybuilding so they can post half-naked selfies 
and use that as the excuse. That's just my belief. But also, I think what we're seeing now is it just it looks like the community is a lot bigger than it is, but it's still very, very niche. Like if you know people within the bodybuilding community, everyone kind of knows each other. So to us, it might seem big, but it's probably one of those things that just because we're so intertwined in it, it seems like everybody is doing it. We're able to find one another, and that's been the beauty of social media. And also, it makes things like carrot cake Oreos cool. Like back in the day, if you try to eat this and call yourself a fitness guru or bodybuilder or bodybuilder or whatever, they would have been like, dude, you're a fraud. But now somehow Oreos are like the Fitspo sponsor. So my buddy Steve, who I was talking about earlier, actually got these for me. If you guys saw that video where I was trying to hunt them down. And I've had, you know, a few, but just in case you guys need to know, the carrot cake Oreos. So good. And that is gonna be the video. I tried to do something a little bit different in this one. Let me know what you think in the comment section. I always appreciate when I get comments. That's like the highlight of my day. Scrolling through, checking comments. I heart every single one just to let you guys know that I read them. If you guys ask a question, I do my best to answer all of them. But thank you all so much for liking the video, subscribing to the channel if you are new, and I look forward to talking to you guys next time.